and what's going on it's your boy fontaine vip soundlab.com just got some questions in regards to parallel compression and how to get it set up inside machine 2.0 better known as the new york style of compression so right here i have a drum loop and if you want to follow along at home you can download this uh machine battle drum kit demo off the website and if you like the kit you can jump on the kit all right so let's go and check out the demo All right, so let's say I wanted to get some more than drums and squeeze them a little bit. Right here, I have a blank group, which is group C. And on the first sound, I labeled it NYC comp. Okay, so for this particular situation, the compressor that I'm going to use, I'm going to use the Native Instruments Supercharger. All right, now normally this is going to be set up with, with a factory setting uh, like this, I believe. Now you got to do some tweaking to get the desired effects, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And I might even do, yeah, have a, a little plate reverb on sound too. So I think I set up an auxiliary, I think it was a reverb send, and I'll show you guys how to do that too. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to the drums for a minute. All right, let's go ahead and jump over to the mixer screen. All right, so here's the mixer screen. Now, here's our compressor. Okay, we haven't got anything set up on that yet. We'll do that in a sec. So on the compressor, it's on sound one. Okay, I'm gonna turn the volume all the way down. And what I'll do is I'll blend the drums in from this point here. All right, so we'll go back to the drums here. We will assign these kicks to our NYC comp here. Like so, go back over here to the compressor. All right, now what we'll do is we'll just slowly blend those drums in. So let's go ahead and get our little settings set up. I have my own that I call VIP NYC compression. Now, these are my settings. I'm not saying you have to use these settings. I mean, it's different from drums to drums. You know, when you're EQing your drums, it's always gonna, you're always gonna do some tweaking in there, man. That, that's just mandatory. On this one, I have, what, 1.65. I'm barely kissing the needle of the gain reduction. That's just my style, and I added a little punch. The mix and wet, I'm using 58% wet and 42% dry, and I'm cranking the output. So, uh. What I'll do, I'm gonna mute this right quick. Let's go ahead and hit the drums one more time without it. Okay, let's turn this up. All right, so I'm monitoring the drums from group A on my NYC comp. Now I'm gonna turn this down and I'm gonna activate the supercharger. All right, so now it's on. Let's go ahead and blend these drums in. Now, to your ears, I don't know if that sounds more punchy to you, but to me, that sounds a lot more punchy. So let's go ahead and A and B this right quick. I'm going to mute the uh, supercharger here, maybe like three or four times and turn it back on so you guys can get a feel for that. You know, you might want to turn your monitors on so you can uh, hear the difference in that. So here it is without... Okay, and again, that's just barely kissing the needle because that to me sounds like a, a more cleaner sound. All right, so if I mess with these settings a little bit, you know, they might sound a little, a little too muddy.
too much compression, you'll limit the drums too much, in my opinion. So to me, I like to barely kiss the needle, but hey, that's just my style. You know, you can do your style. You know, if you want to push your drums a little bit harder, you know, that's up to you. All right, another thing I wanted to do was I wanted to set up some um some sends on these snares here. We have two snares here, and I'm gonna use the auxiliary sends, being that we already have over here on this group, we have a plate reverb set up here. I have the mix at 100, I'm starting right there. All right, so let's go back to group A, and let's see. Let's set up the auxiliary here, and let's set up the auxiliary here. And I will adjust accordingly. All right, so that's pretty much how you get that set up if you want to add a little flavor onto your sounds using the auxiliaries. Now you have up to two auxiliaries on each sound. So, all right, and we'll just hold it up right there. It's your boy Fontaine, the VIP Soundlab.com, showing you how to use the NYC style of compression on Machine 2.0, as well as setting up your auxiliary tracks for your reverb returns. If you have any questions or concerns, hit me up, and I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, you can hit me up on www.vipsoundlab.com. Peace.